What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to the Stardew Valley modded playthrough. This is episode 7, let's get straight into it. Good morning Fredo, let's give him a good love. <laughs> he's jumpy when he's asleep. He always seems to be sleeping, I mean we've had a lot of rain so he's not really been very active, bless him. Let's check the weather for tomorrow. So today it is raining again all day. No fog though, 22.6 degrees of highs, it's not too bad at all. Uh, tomorrow we have got more rain. Guys, we've had like four days of rain straight, holy smokes. I mean, I'm not complaining for the crops, but it gets kind of annoying to see after a while. So we do have some crops grown. The look we've got today is, we're feeling lucky, but not too lucky, so it's just average. The watering can has got one more day left. Let's harvest these strawberries. And we've also got some green beans. I think that's all the crops for, for now. Got some more raw water. Obviously it's raining so the rain collector is doing its job and the water pump of course. The dried fruit and vegetables still have 13 hours left on them so they will be done at the end of the day sometime. It's still salmon berry season which is pretty good. I'm going to get some more copper bars on the go as well because we've just spent five on the watering can. I want to do the other tools as well. I'm going to keep some strawberries away. You never know when you need them. I think I'm going to make another chest for all like crops and stuff like that. But we need some wood. Get the copper bar on the go. That's going to take 30 minutes. It's very, very quick. Okay, let's sell some of these crops that we've got. And then I'm going to get some wood. Because we literally are running low on, on this. So I'm going to need as much as possible. So let's knock a few trees down on the farm. I'm going to build another chest with some of this wood as well. And I might try and hopefully get enough for the bridge on the beach. But I'm going to waste a lot of energy for this. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Oh, we just leveled up. The um, foraging from chopping trees down, because if you didn't know when you chop trees down, it does count towards the forage skill, which is pretty good. We have just leveled that up. Okay, so we do have 170 wood. It's still not enough, but the energy is running low and the time's going pretty fast. So I'm just going to get a chest and then tomorrow we'll finish off the rest of the wood for the bridge repair. So I'm going to put this chest here, make it green. This is going to be for like crops, you know, forage items. And then we don't have to get confused with all of the, um, the chests together. So now this chest can be used for like, you know, your sap, your seeds, bait, you know, all the trash, just little bits and bobs, basically kind of like junk stuff. And then in this chest now we've got literally fruits and vegetables, because then if I want to produce something like, you know, pickles, jams, jellies, juices, we know where to come to. Now I do have some seeds in the ground as well, I've got a mixed seed here, and also some of these spring seeds, which are the spring forage seeds. Good XP, so I will get some of these down. It's raining today and tomorrow as well. And we have upgraded the watering can, so I'm going to place these down. We should have enough time before spring ends. It is the 17th of spring today, so it's left us with 11 days. I don't know how long these take to grow, but I don't think it's 11 days, so we should be alright. I mean, let's be honest, next year, would we really want to plant all these then? Okay, i tell you what they are. So horseradish, 7 days. Are they all horseradish? Okay, I thought it was a mixture of them. Okay, so it takes seven days and they're all horseradishes. Fair enough. So they're in the ground. That is done. Let's go into town, see a few people and see what is going on. First, let's have some food. We're a little bit peckish. Let's eat this field snack and these two spring onions. And then I'll have a glass of water too. We have got to kill four green slimes. So I might pop down to the mines today, actually. Let's try and kill them slimes. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's good money. So let's go up here. Maybe do some foraging. Speak to some people. It's raining, so it's a little bit hard because not many people are out and about. There's not really much to do when it's like this. So I always spend the rainy days fishing or foraging. And it is salmon berry season. Salmon berry season is at its prime right now. And we are getting two near enough per little bush here. So look at all these ones down here. Nice. There's more to forage down here too. Oh, wow. Soren's not behind his bush for once. Jesus, is he feeling all right? A Merrell mushroom. Nice, hiding away there. It's pretty hard to see with all these flowers and stuff, but here's Linus. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. I mean, he loves it when it rains. It's his favourite time of the day, I'm sure. A free shower for him. I've just seen Sebastian leave the house as well. But I'm not going to talk to him today because we want to go to the mines. After I get these salmon berries, it should be easy to kill. Is it four slimes? I mean, it's not very hard, is it? Four green slimes. We should be able to do that. Easy. Piece of cake. And here is our first victim. Oh, there's another one down here hiding away. I have got the pickaxe today as well, so we go further down without having to use the elevator all the time. Even though it worked, we still managed to do it last time. Oh, the dwarf scroll, the number four. Got some earth crystals here, not too bad. Is there any slimes about? Oh, there's the two. There's the two we need. 
Quest complete, and there we go, guys, done. So we need to go and talk to Lewis, which we'll do today before it gets too late, because we couldn't do that yesterday in the last episode. So let's go to Lewis right away. I don't know whereabouts he's going to be at 5.50. Is that still kind of too late? I'm not sure. I don't know what he does. I don't think we can enter his house. What time's his house going to show up? Come on, Lewis, give me the money. I've killed the slimes for you. I've done it two days in a row now. Okay, so he's not at home. So that means he's going to be somewhere. That's good to know. We'll have to like try and track him down. Will he be in the saloon at this time? I don't know where he's going to be at this time. Oh, there he is. Nice, it's Wednesday. Ah, Shocker, so you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. I know it can be really hard to get that sticky slime out of your clothes. I've definitely ruined a few good pairs of pants trying to catch those little squirmers. I can remember Papa going into a rage after I got deep blue slime all over my brand new dress pants. Well, anyways, enjoy your reward. Thank you. And here we go. 240 gold. The easiest bit of money I've ever earned in my life. Now, whilst we're in the saloon, let's talk to a few people, actually. There's Andy. I need to pick up some food today. Question is, do I look for forage in the forest or buy something at Joja? Go forage it yourself. Joja sucks. Uh, <coughs> hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Well... You're too old as well. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Oh, wow. Okay. You cruel. Here's Mona. Look how she's actually sat on the bar stool. Love that. I'm sleeping on Emily and Haley's couch for now. I met them because they used to come on holiday in my village every year. We became good friends over time. Now, what do you like, Mona? Okay, dandelion, salmonberry. I'm going to give you a salmonberry. I want to get these new people gifts because I want to learn about them, you know, do the new cutscenes and stuff. So, does Andy like salmonberries? I'm sure he does. He loves. What? He loves foraging, but he don't like salmon berries. Okay, well, he does like a leek, which we've managed to only get one. Here we go, Andy. This ain't that bad. Thank you kindly for the gift. Yeah, I do want to learn about these new people, so let's try and get to know them as much as we can. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. All right, Dr. Harvey. Jeez. Oh, here's uh, Shiko. We'll go and give her a gift as well. I don't know what she likes, but... You know, I used to be a fashion model back in Zuzu City. I can see. I can see why. You're a very pretty lady. As much as I love the lifestyle, I needed a break from all the stress and daunting tasks. Daunting tasks. Okay, well, what do you like? A dandelion? A salmonberry as well? Okay, we've got lots of salmonberries, so... Thanks, this is a nice gift. Okay, that's pretty good, thank you. Here's Sebastian. What am I going to do today? Probably nothing. Typical. Sound a bit like me. I doing, Shane? Uh, no, I don't have time to chat with you. Okay, thanks, bloody hell. Jeez, see you later then. Okay, so Mona's leaving. I will remember to do that every now and then. When we see the new per one of the new people, I will give them a gift if we've got anything on us. And uh, we'll try and get to know them. The more hearts we get, the more chance we get the cutscenes and events. And, you know, we'll learn about them a bit more. We'll get some new dialogue and stuff. So, all broken glasses. We'll try and keep on top of that. I think that's going to be important in this series. I do really want to get to know the new guys. And if I want to marry anybody or, you know, have babies with people, it's going to be one of the new people for sure. I mean, why not? We're on the expanded mod for a reason. The case is pretty late, there's not much more to do. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep and we'll get cracked on with the next day. It's raining again, but the watering can should be done so I can go down and collect that. I'm going to get the rest of the wood for the beach and we'll go down there as well. Repair that bridge. Oh, the prehistoric rib. Pretty good find. And yeah, we'll probably do some fishing and a bit of foraging and talk to some more people. We'll see if anything happens throughout the day. Oh, we've got the dried basil and the dried salmonberry. Nice. Um... We haven't got any vegetables on us, but I will put a salmonberry back in there. So as you can see, one salmonberry, right, sells for five gold. If we dry it, it increases it by 210. That's a 205 profit per salmonberry. That is insane. I'm so happy with that. What do you guys think? Keep drying it? That's not bad, right? I'm, I've got an unpolished rice for 20 gold if you sell it. Let's dry it and see how much we get. Dried polished rice, will it be able to let us do this? I can't remember if I've tried before. Okay, we can. So we can dry polished, unpolished rice, which will make it dried rice. So let's see what that does. I mean, that's going to increase profit too, right? Right, we need the fire on. We have got a little bit of wood left in here. We're going to need five pieces. I'm going to do one with some water as well. So let's put the water on. Let's get the fire on. And let's go to sleep. Now, night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> Hey, level 4 foraging. We've got plus 1 wild berry harvesting, which we've, which we've already figured out today, actually. We was getting 2 salmon berries per bush. 
Uh, we've got the charcoal kiln. Very good. So we can start chopping trees and making coal. And we can also get the wild seeds for summer. And we're better with our axe too. And we made a little bit of money. We did a little bit of farming this morning. But we did keep a few crops and stuff as well. Because I do like to dry them, increase the profit. And we can always use them for gifts as well. It's always important to keep a few crops that you make. You should never know when you're going to need anything in this game. Okay, so it is raining today. Please don't be raining tomorrow. Come on. Uh, expect rain with highs of 22. Tomorrow, a gentle... But whoa, my God. Is this broken? Like, what's going on? Five days in a row. <sighs> that is pretty tough. I mean, to be honest, it's pretty much like British weather in England. When we when it rains, it will rain for days. Like, it's not just a one-off. So it's kind of realistic in that sense. But we've just got to deal with it. This is it, the ultimate dynamic weather mod in Stardew Valley. Whatever throw, gets thrown at us, we've got to deal with. And if we get a big drought and a downpour like this, you know, it's, it's just going to happen. So, the watering can's finished. We've got good luck. We're feeling very lucky. And it's Pam's birthday, so it's a pretty good day today. And we've got a letter off my dad. Now, in the pre one of the previous episodes, um, it was my first time I've ever received a letter from set dad, because normally it's always mum. And that's apparently because if you play as a male character, you get letters from your mum. And if you play as a female character, you get letters from your dad, which makes sense. And I've never played as a female before, so this is what is new to me. It's not part of the mod. This is actual part of the game. Uh, dear Sharkett, how how is the country life going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. P.S. I found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Thank you. So, Fredo's out. He's not following us anymore. Okay, oh, he is. He's decided to follow us today. I mean, that's random how he does that, but... Uh, the, the unpolished rice is done today. We'll get that later on. So, what did I say we was going to do? We probably could advance further down in the mines, whilst we've got the good luck. We do need some items as well. But first, I'm going to chop some trees down, get that wood. We can repair the bridge. And I will go and get the watering can as well today. And we'll go and give Pam something. I don't know what she likes. We'll find out though. We can check in a second. So if we go into our social tab, we um, find Pam. So this is what she wants. Dark ale, some dragon fruit, dragon fruit popsicle, gin, glaze jams. Have we got anything? We've got parsnip. Yes, she likes parsnips. There we go. That's her sorted. Moonshine. Oh my god, she's such an alcoholic. <laughs> Okay, let's get this down. I'm going to chop a few more trees down, then we'll go and get the parsnip. And then we'll go and take a trip to Pam and Clint. Looks like Freddo's decided to follow us today. It's been a while. He has just been sleeping, keeping warm inside. I don't blame him. Move out of the way, Freddo. Freddo! Freddo! Okay, so we've got a gold parsnip. But I don't want to give one of those because we need that for the community centre. So we've got enough wood now as well. We're going to go and do the bridge repair today. Is it 200 or 250? I think it's 250, but we'll go and see. And then if we go into the crops one, I do have a parsnip. We'll give her that. She loves this, so that's not too bad at all. And yeah, we've got the pickaxe because we are going to do a little bit of mining today. I'll keep the axe away for now. And let's go. Come on, Fredo. Where are you coming? Good boy. Oh, I missed him following us. Oh, hold on. Oh, we've got a cutscene with... Morris, ha, huh, the new farmer. Good morning. I heard that you just moved into your grandpa's old farm and have big plans. With a farm of that size, you'll need a healthy supply of seeds. I came by to suggest that you should buy Jojo seeds instead of Pierre's. If you need persuading, just look at Fairhaven Farm. Andy grows very healthy crops and saves money by using our seeds. Oh no, he's trying to get us onto the Jojo side. Trying to turn us to the dark side, guys. Apparently that's where Andy on Fairhaven's farm, he always buys us buys uh, Jojo seeds. I have a special limited time Jojo membership offer for you, Sharket. A one-time payment of only 5,000 gold. It's an excellent investment for a farmer just starting out. You can buy our seeds at a discounted price and you'll have access to carpenters who can repair that broken down greenhouse. Oh guys, what do you think? Shall we do it or shall we do the community centre ourselves and, you know, go with Pierre? I don't want to pressure you to make a decision at this mo very moment. A decision like this will need to be fought over. Uh, yes, fought over. Come speak to me at the Joji department store if you choose to become a member. Oh no, you know what? I'm loyal to Pierre and I want to be loyal in this series as well. I feel like um, sticking by Pierre, providing for the local residents, you know, and helping out those. I've got to do it. I'm going to stick by Pierre. I don't want to sell myself to Joji. And, you know, he's not a very nice man. I know it's easier, but part of the fun, the community centre, doing the bundles, you know, and why not? Let's just do that. That is my decision. Sharket is a nice lady, okay? Come on, Fredo, don't be scared. This is just uh, Alex's dog. He's a good boy, just like you. Although he literally never moves, he stays there all the time. Ooh, found Geode in the bin. Nice find. Right, okay, let's go down to the beach first. Let's do the bridge repair. 
Oh, I can't believe that is actually a thing. But your dogs or pets, when they follow you, they don't like it when you check bins. Okay, so it's been a while since we came to the beach. There should be a few things to forage. Mm, maybe not. But let's do the bridge. Is it 250? It's 300. Okay, so apparently we can throw wood. Guys, look at this. You can play fetch with your dog. Fetch, doggo. Look at that. That is incredible. Oh my god. That is the cutest thing ever. Holy smokes. But yeah, it's 300 wood. So, I didn't even have enough for it all that time. My memory of this game is literally so poor. Like, I've not played Stardew Valley properly, like a proper series playing for every single day in a long time. Normally it's just making videos, crazy projects, and all the stories and stuff is just all new to me again. So, like I got wrong with the upgraded tools. I thought it was 1,500. It wasn't, it was 2,000. And now I've got wrong with the, the wood there. It's 300 wood we need. Oh, this is refreshing my brain a little bit, but I'm so um, out of touch with Stardew Valley right now. Okay, so here's the watering can completed. We've now got the copper one, so we can water two tiles at a time. Is it two or three? Oh my god. Literally, my memory sucks. But I can't believe you can actually play fetch with your dog. That is amazing. Right, so there's Mayor Lewis, but we need Pam. Where is Pam? Is she in a trailer? She lives at home in a trailer. Nope. Which is probably in the saloon then. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. It's soothing though. Yeah, Penny is so like me. I love that. Oh, there's Soren just came out of the saloon. Sorry, I'm not very good at small talk. He looks like he's just had his dinner. Shiko's here as well. Pam's of course. I don't know where Pam will be because I've not repaired the bus, so she shouldn't be there. Hey, you can't do anything this type of weather. Good thing the saloon's always open. You know what? We are a little bit hungry. It is, we've only got 20 and I don't want to eat loads of salmon berries. So let's buy a nice meal. We've got 5,000. So what should we buy? We could buy fried egg. That's not too bad. Let's do that. That's going to give us 50 energy and 20 health. Let's wash it down with a drink. Let's get a cola. Look at this. 150, we get 13 energy, 5 health and 1 luck. And we are going mining, so that's going to be awesome. So let's eat the food first, and then we'll save the cola for when we are actually mining. Fried egg, dinner time, let's sit down at the table. We've lost the speed buff because we're so hungry. Ah, oh, yummy. You know what, we might need to eat some salmon berries too. And I will give one to Shiko, a second gift of the week. Thanks, this is a nice gift. Why not? That's her sorted for the week. We'll get a few friendship points with her. Now let's head up to the mines and spend a few hours up there. We might be able to get... Oh, got a speed buff too. I don't know where Pam is though. I wanted to give Pam that as a birthday, so I really want to see Pam actually. Is she in the shop? Oh, she might be in Joja. Oh, look at this. Cutscene. Welcome to Piers. How can I help you? Oh, it's the Morris. Literally the day we've just had her speak to him and he spoke to us about joining Joja. He decided to come into the Pier and try and get everybody else against him. This is why he's a nasty man. <clears throat> Come and get it, folks. Coupons 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Waves is waving his ticket. Well, any takers? Oh no. Everyone's gone to him. Everyone's left Pierre. We, we won't do that, Pierre. We are loyal, okay? But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Here he is, look. Horrible Morris. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realise that. Hmm. Look at his smug face. We can't allow this to happen, guys. We will fight Joja. Don't worry, Pierre. Everything's going to be alright. <sighs> I mean, you do sell a large backpack, even after this one, for 50,000 gold. And I'll be buying that soon, so that's going to sort you out for a little while. <laughs> so you're the new farmer. Interesting. Maybe someday you can teach me how to grow vegetables. Oh yes, I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Okay, Pam, she's gonna be in Joja. I was gonna go mining because we got the luck, but guys, oh there she is, yes. Howdy kid, staying dry. I've got a, a parsnip for you, it's your birthday, right? You rem you remembered my birthday, I'm impressed, thanks. No, no worries, no worries. Okay, let's head to the mines. We're not gonna be able to spend too long there, but it's gonna be enough. If I can get down five levels, I will be happy. Plus, we're gonna have some good luck. It's a lucky day, naturally, but we're gonna drink that cola to give us plus one luck. Always feeling lucky when you drink that cola. I wish Fredo don't follow you when it's raining. I feel like he shouldn't, you know. Even though he's a wild fox. I don't think they mind too much, but still. He needs to be inside where it's warm. So here we are. Fredo's waiting outside like a good boy. Let's get to floor 20. Let's go down one. Let's drink the cola. It's going to give us a little bit of energy and some hunger. And we've now got a plus one speed. 
Oh, is that? Oh, that's just gone. Okay. Well, we've got the look though. So uh, let's see what we can do. Oh yes, we've got the speed buff back. I just ate a salmon berry, and we're a lot faster. Look at all that copper. We're gonna feel good today. Oh yes. I think the next tool I'm upgrading is definitely the pickaxe. Oh, there's the ladder. I'll take all this copper first though. Yeah, I think it's going to be the pickaxe first. Earth crystal. Floor 23 already. We've got some moths to take care of. Oh, we've got the attack buff, obviously. We've got two defense and two attack from being full. Obviously, when you've got a lot of energy from having a full stomach, you do feel a bit stronger, right? And the luck is coming in handy right now. We are getting ladder drops. It's pretty good stuff. So let's get down on 24 already. Oh. Get here, you pesky little crab. Now what's good to see guys, if you hit, hit a normal rock, just like these ones, as you can see you don't get any mining skill. But if you hit one of these little white silver rocks, you get 3 XP and you will get 5 XP from hitting like a copper vein or iron or something. So the white rocks and obviously all your mineral and the special stuff are the ones that give you XP, the normal rocks don't, so just bear that in mind. I only knock them down if you need to. Oh, look at all the good stuff here. Look at the Amethyst, they look amazing, don't they? Part of the uh, texture mod. It's 10pm, I need one more floor, come on. And there we go, elevator done. We can just head home right now, perfect timing as well. 11pm, we'll get home in time. Kill these bugs, because we're so close to levelling up our combat. Hopefully this slime will do that for us. Yes, we did. Look at that, levelled up our combat. I think that's how, so we're level 2 now, we've only leveled up, we've not leveled that up much because we're not really doing much combat and it's quite a hard skill to get, I think it's the most difficult skill to level up in my opinion, until you get to the school cavern of course. But yeah, let's head home, that is the day 2 complete, we'll play for an extra day for this episode, we'll play for 3 days because it's been raining literally all this episode and there's not much we can do, so I'll see you in the morning guys. There we go, level 2 combat, of course, with Canal Craft Life Elixir. To be honest, I never really craft those either. I don't know if you guys do. It might be worth doing when you do go to the school cavern, but it's something I never did. We already, we didn't sell nothing today because we didn't really do anything. We just went mining and uh, sort of pam out. So it's the next day. It is 19th of spring, last day of the episode. And it's raining again. Now, please, it can't be raining tomorrow. If so, there's something seriously wrong. Uh, okay, greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a meat recipe. Oh, this Friday's dish. Roast duck. Oh, so every Friday you'll get a new dish. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Um, you learned how to cook the roast duck. You know, I've actually been forgetting to check the Queen of the Sauce, which is bad. We've got bad luck today. The traveling merchant is in town. Let's check the weather for tomorrow. I think it's going to be raining again. Concludes the weather in Tanker Grove. Uh, Pelican Town, we've got rain today with a high of 20.5 degrees. Tomorrow, we've got a good day. Enjoy the sun on a warm spring morning. Oh, highs of 20 degrees. Thank you. We've had like five days of rain. We deserve some sunshine. Okay, we've got some mail. Um, Pam, she gave us a cheese collie recipe. What hearts are we with her? Oh my god, we went up to three hearts. You know, by giving her the birthday gift. Uh, Steve is nearly on three. We definitely want to do that. We've also got a quest from Jody. She wants a fresh cauliflower. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. I think they shouldn't be long before they're done as well. But first, we have got some crops that need harvesting. Parsnips, can we get two gold ones? Yes, we did it. Gold ones are complete. That's ready for the bundle. Oh, we got the spring rose too. Very nice. Look at that. Some nice pretty flowers. It'd be nice to get some... Um... Oh, we can. We can make the honey, right? The beehives. It might be good to do that and make some spring flower honey. Or spring rose honey, should I say. Yeah. Let's see what we need to craft one of those. So we need... Oh, we need maple syrup. Oh, we need some tree tappers. You know what, guys? This tree tapper here is not working and I don't know why. It's not gave us one thing just yet. So I'm going to move on to another tree. Maybe it's bugged. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's put one on this pink tree. Is this maple? I think. Oh, that's oak resin. Okay. Well, we might need some more tree tappers then. And I do want some maple syrup because I want some beehives. Five parsnips done. We are going to do that. Donate some stuff to the museum. Process some geodes. And we will go and do the gold, five gold parsnips whilst we can as well. First, let's go into here. We've got a few crops that we can store away. A spring rose sells for 320, that's amazing, but it'll be interesting to see how much this sells for honey. I think that'd be quite good, but I'll keep two away just in case we need it. I don't know if anyone loves these, let's take a look. Oh, Caroline and Jazz love them. Pretty good to know, and most people like them as well. But it's worth quite a lot of money, so we don't really want to be doing that. We've still got four hours on the rice and the salmon berry, the dried fruits and stuff, so let's sell some of these things away. Should make a bit of money today from the crops. Watering can can get stored away because it's 
raining today. So much rain. So I'm going to get the five gold parsnips. I want the axe because I want to finish that wood as well. We need a few more. Let's get that actually whilst we can. We need 300. I can't believe how much wood you need for that. It's going to be tough. Get some copper on the go too. We've only got 10 copper ore left. We're running quite low on that. Holy smokes. Okay, so geodes. We've got the amethyst. We've not donated that yet. We've got some artifacts here as well. I'm going to knock down this one tree. This should give us 300 wood. Oh, here's Soren. Be careful down in the mines, farmer. The lower you go, the more dangerous it gets. Yep, yeah, we already know. Don't you worry. So here we are at the commune center. It's coming right up. Let's go and drop off the five gold parsnips. Get that over and done with, just in case I accidentally use or sell them. It's coming to end of spring now, so we don't want to forget that. Also, I brought some extra stuff as well. For example, the catfish and the shad. We did have a largemouth bass and a carp. For some reason, they're not donated. And I don't have them at home, I don't think. But I thought we already caught those. I don't know what's going on with that. And of course, we've got the little sardine as well. That's the fish done. There's a few more to drop off. The bulletin board. Is this the new one? Oh, yeah. Oh, the fried egg that we ate this morning. Or was it, was it yesterday or today? But we need that for the chef's bundle. We can cook that ourselves anyway. So here is the five gold parsnips. And then in summer, we should be able to do the five melons and the corn. And then that way, we don't have to worry about fall. And that should be the quality crops bundle done. And then we just need to worry about the fall and the summer and the fall crops. And then the animals. We are going to need some animals soon. I want that greenhouse by the end of the year. So we need to start making some of this stuff. Okay, to the museum and Clint we go. We need to do a few stuff. It's going to give us 75. We are actually about to see him. Okay, let's head home. We have got a quartz. I'm going to get one, bring one. And we'll get a free 75 gold. Why not? I'll see you guys at Clint's. That's where you're going to see me next, alright? Okay, so here we are. We're coming up to Clint's right now. I've gone and got the quartz. Done a little bit of management. First, let's give him the quartz. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop all year round. Depressing, huh? Yeah, kind of. Uh, there we go. Oh, is that the quartz I requested? Thanks so much. Here's your payment as promised. So we've got a cheeky 75 gold. It makes him happy. Easy peasy. Now let's go and process the geodes. We've got only six, but you know, why not? It is bad luck today, so I don't know if this helps or not, but maybe it does. Probably should have waited for this, but we did get the dwarf helmet. That's actually quite a rareish item, especially to get from a geode. So, let's go and uh, donate all of these. We might get our next reward. I feel like we've been uh, doing quite some generosity lately. I love how this looks, by the way. They've changed it a lot. It looks amazing. So, we've got the scrolls. I like to keep these down here. Oh, there's the reward straight away. We've got two of those. We've got an Amethyst. It looks amazing. Some of... I don't know what this was called again, but we've got one. We've got one of those two. We've also got the helmet and the spoon and the prehistoric rib. I'll keep these down here. We'll do that little stuff down there. So we've got the reward. That's not bad at all. What is it? Oh, it's all the paintings and statues. Oh, a bit pointless in my opinion. But we've also got the star fruit seeds, which is really good. Plant it in summer. That's not bad at all. We can make some star fruit wine. Let's go and speak to Mona. And oh, okay. Um, what are you two doing? Uh, Mona looks deep in thoughts. <laughs> really? Deep in thoughts or something else? <laughs> do you ever go to the desert? I'm reading a fascinating book about a boy who lives in this little village lost in the sand. I wonder what that feels like. I don't know, Mona, but you and Penny just <laughs> it, it don't look very good, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Jesus. That was amazing. Right, let's go to the beach. I'm going to fix up that bridge. We've got enough wood now. We've got 385. Maybe do some foraging and fishing for the night. And I'm going to sell these paintings. So there's nothing to forage. We do have a crab pot at home. I might put place that on the beach, actually. Um, we'll do fishing in a second. Let's go and do the bridge right now. It looks like Shark has got a little rain jacket on. That's awesome. Okay, and here we go. Look at all the stuff to forage over there as well. All in all, it's a good day today. It's a good day today. Oh, look at all this. We've got starfish, corals, all oh, the guys there with the pendant. It's raining, of course. And we've got, oh, a trilobite. Not bad at all. Okay, well, let's do some fishing. That's what I'm going to do. For, oh, we've not got much space, though, have we? Well, we should be able to catch a few fish. I'm going to spend the night away fishing on the beach today, guys, just to make a little bit of money, get that fishing skill up. And um, I'll probably see you back on the farm later on tonight when we sell some of these stuff and get sorted. Well, here's Sebastian. Huh, I don't really know you. Well, get to know me. Oh, there's Willie. I want to talk to Willie as well. A guy that I never really see much. Oi, if I wasn't putting myself at risk of getting a cold, I would definitely stay out all day fishing. Some fish are only happy when it rains. Look how many items that Willie loves. All the fishing guides. Apparently you can get fishing guides. Like, there's different Ed 1, 2, 3, I don't know what all that is. Angler Guide. But if, apparently you can get them in the game and he loves them. So, I wonder how we get hold of one of those. The Angler Guide. Hmm, interesting. 
I think in the next episode, uh, I might buy the new fishing rod. I don't know whether to get the new fishing rod or upgrade the pickaxe. What do you guys want me to do in the next episode? Let me know down below. Upgrade the pickaxe or the fishing rod, the new fishing rod, which we can attach bait to and fishing is going to be a lot better. So would you prefer to be stronger in the mining department or the fishing? Let me know, guys. Let me know. Or do you want to spend the money on something else? Summer's coming up. Maybe save a lot of money for some good seeds. I don't know. Okay, guys, we're back on the farm. Sadly, you can't sell the paintings and stuff. I swear I've sold them before. I don't know if you need to sell them to Robin or somebody else. You just can't put them in the shipping bin. There's a way of getting rid of them. I'm sure there is. I can remember doing it a long time ago. Unless they've changed it in a patch or something. But there is a way of doing it. I can remember doing it before. So for now, I'll store them away. But we'll get rid of them because we don't really need them. And if we can sell them for money, then we're going to be better off. So we have got the dried unpolished rice and also the dried salmonberry. So the rice is 240, so we'll make a little bit more money on that than the salmonberry, but a salmonberry sells for five and rice sells for 20. So you're making 220 profit on the rice and a 205 profit on the salmonberry. So the rice is actually pretty better, but um, that's not too bad. That's some decent money today. I always like doing that. I am gonna sleep. We're gonna get these last two copper bars. We've run out of copper ore now, so we can't smell. Oh no, we've just got five more. Yeah, I can put one of those on then. But after that, there is nothing left. We've run out of copper, and that's gonna be it, guys. We caught some good fish. I've just sold them all in the shipping bin. Let's get the wood. We're running low in this uh, log storage right now. Let's get to sleep. See how much money we made. We we'll leveled up the fishing, of course. We've got the recycling machine, which I really wanted because. We can start getting rid of some of the junk, start making some good stuff like coal, torches, wood, cloth, you know. It's, it's not a bad little machine. And yes, the money wasn't too bad, just like I said. We got 2,000 gold from farming alone. Obviously, the onions, parsnips, parsley, the spring rose. And fishing wasn't too bad. I caught quite a few eels and some other little bits of bobs. And yeah, foraging, even 420. Obviously, there's the beach stuff and the morel mushroom. Not too bad. So, 3,066 gold for that day. The next day is going to be the 20th of spring, which will be in the next episode because we're going to end that one there. So, thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying. We've just spent 500 gold apparently on new clothes. So. You get a weekly fee, and maybe every Saturday you pay 500 gold for new clothes. Because we do get a different outfit every day, which is fair enough, that's realistic. That's not too bad. A little bit of expenses as well. But yeah, if you're enjoying this series, please share the support. Let me know in the comments below of how the series is going, what you want to see differently or add to it. Hit the like button as well and subscribe if you are new around here. Until then, I'll see you on the next episode or the next video. Stay safe, stay awesome, and see ya! See ya.